Hey there Andy, um, my name is Chad and I've just watched your video of overclocking an E6400 and I decided I could help you out a bit and get your CPU quite a bit further. Um, the E6400s are meant to run at extremely high speeds, um, you can get them up at uh, 3.5 gigahertz quite easily. So I think you just need to change a few things and you can get that thing much much higher. So I'm just going to go here and load optimize defaults. So we can reset everything and then I can show you. Alright, the first thing you want to go to is advanced BIOS settings and disable anything that you're not using. For example, all of this stuff. Just disable it. Alright, that's uh, just the screen logo, but you get it. Right. Disable anything that you're not using because if you're not using it, it's probably going to take away a bit of the overclockability of your processor. So, when you're in this main menu, like right up here, hit Control F1 and you'll see the screen sort of flash. Well, okay, you didn't there. Then you're going to, that enables some other op options in the BIOS. So, firstly, what you've done is you've changed the speed here of the FSB to 380 alright so that's cool first problem though is your system memory multiplier or that's your DRAM and FSB ratio put that at 2 and your RAM is going to run at 760 megahertz yes we know that it's not as fast as 900 plus megahertz but that is what's holding your um, your stability back, should I say. Uh, next, change your PCIe frequency to about 100 MHz. If you are really looking for benchmarks, put it higher, but don't go past 125 MHz safely, um, maybe 130 MHz if, if you're lucky. All right. So, yeah, I'm gonna actually put mine at 400 because I know mine can handle quite easily. 400. Alright, next is leave any CIA2 and these uh, high speed RAM settings because that's also going to hold back the overclockability. So these are the options that have been enabled by hitting Control F1 uh, in the main menu. Now I can change the timings of my RAM and I'm going to I'm going to change them from 55515 to 555 to sorry to 44412. Oops. and 2T alright so uh, that's all good your RAM should be able to do that if it could reach 900 megahertz alright next is your voltages firstly do not put this at 1.5 volts sorry your CPU voltage at 1.5 volts that is absolute madness alright 1.5 volts is extremely high but and um you cannot run it on 24/7. Um, okay, I lie. You can run it on 24/7, but you shouldn't. Don't go past 1.5 volts. Run it on. You should be able to run it easily on 1.425. All right. Uh, next is put your DRAM, if it's good quality RAM and warranted, at 2.1 volts. Then add 3.3 volts because that's 2.1 and leave your PCIe voltage and put your MH, MCH voltage at plus 2.0 and put your FSB at plus 1 sorry plus 0.1 <laughs> alright and that's the voltages that you want to use alright anything higher and you're going to reduce the life of your uh, oh, sorry yeah well not really but I mean don't go past 1.5 volts because you will reduce the life span of your CPU to two years. Alright, and that's all good. And we see it switches off there. And it switches on. And there's the memory beep.
and we will now boot in to Windows. Oh, fuck. Alright, so I went into the BIOS and I didn't enable my USB keyboard and mouse. How smart of me. But yeah, you get the point. Um, uh, and lastly, the, please don't hit your keyboard 150 times to get into the BIOS. It's just really annoying. Just hit it once while while your uh, computer is posting. And uh, yeah, you'll get into the BIOS, no doubt. Okay, so I hope this helps and uh, tell me if you get any further with the overclocking and I hope you do. Um, see you and good luck.